Hi, it's Kia again, and welcome to week one. I know it's challenging getting started with the new program, but before you get started, you have to place students into the appropriate level. So you have a placement test. Each placement test allows for the students to be placed where they are and then move forward so they can grow in their number skills. We have two options for placement tests in number worlds. The first option is the number knowledge test, which is a one-on-one -on -one test, and the second option is a placement test, which is a group test. Let's talk about the number knowledge test first. The purpose of this placement test is for you to know extensively the knowledge of students that they have with numbers and number sense. It is an oral test, it takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes, and it will place students in the most appropriate level, starting with level A all the way through level G. Remember, the purpose of the placement test is to make sure students start at their instructional level and then move them forward. The second option is to have students take the placement test. The placement test is the second option. It is the option that you can give whole group. You can give the placement test whole group to several students. Now this placement test only takes about 10 minutes, but in order to make sure you're using the most appropriate placement test, consult your administrator to make sure which one is most appropriate for your school. Once you're given the placement test, you'll score it and then either give them another placement test or place them into the most appropriate group. You can access the Number Worlds placement test online on meonline.com slash numberworlds and you'll land on this home page. Once you land here, go ahead and scroll down, find the word assess and click on it. Once you click on it, you'll have the ability to download the placement test. Click on download the placement test. You'll have the ability to download the placement test of the level you're working with. You'll see the number knowledge test and then you'll see levels B and C and the remaining levels. Click on the level that you're working with. Let's start with level E. Once the placement test is downloaded, you'll have the number knowledge test as well as the placement test for that level. The directions for the number knowledge test are given, and then you, it's a conversion chart on how to place students according to the number knowledge test. Remember, this is the one that's one-on-one -on -one, that takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes. Once you've given the number knowledge test and you'll scroll down, you'll see the conversion chart. The conversion chart will allow you to convert the raw score into an actual number world's level. For instance, if students score a 20 to 25 raw score, they'll place in level E. If you're giving the placement test, the placement test is also located on this document. Scroll down and you'll see the directions for placement tests for levels D through J. Levels D through J has approximately 10 questions and it takes about 10 minutes. Once the students are finished the placement test and you've scored it, it'll tell you how to place them. If they score 8 to 10 on the placement test, go ahead and give them the next level placement test. If they score 4 to 7 on the placement test, that is perfect. They're right at their instructional level. Place them in that level. For instance, level E, the one we're working with now. If they actually score below 4, go ahead and place them into the next level below level E and give them that placement test. Once the placement tests are given to all of your students, you'll be ready to group them and start Number Worlds. Your next action item, if you haven't done it already, is to give the placement tests. Give the number knowledge test and or the placement test to your students. And don't forget to go ahead and post on the discussion board comments or any other questions you have about the placement test process.